Good afternoon. So the human body. The human body is one of the most intricate, complex, and efficient machines in the whole world, really. And we spend every day walking around in our bodies, but few of us take time to appreciate just some of the amazing things about it. And just going through med school right now, I learn things every day that just blow my mind. Um, so I wanted to choose five things that maybe you've thought about, maybe you know, maybe you've never really appreciated. And just take the time to really think about those and what it's doing for you every day. Um, the first is your lungs. Your lungs contain over 300 million capillaries, um, which capillaries are the tiny blood vessels that allow you to absorb the freshly oxygenated air that you're breathing in. And if you were to line up all of these capillaries back to back, it would stretch over 1,500 miles. So you've been designed with this intricate system of blood vessels and capillaries that you know, stretch 1,500 miles. Um, and just appreciate that and take time to breathe deeply and use those 1,500 miles of capillaries that are allowing you to absorb this oxygen. The second thing is your eyes. Your eyes receive 90% of the information that you are processing, which means that we as human beings are largely visual creatures. And the eye has, it's small, but it has 17 internal and external muscles that are allowing it to function. One of the muscles is particularly impressive, the ciliary muscle, because it is contracting over 100,000 times per day. To put that into perspective, if you wanted to give your leg muscles a similar workout as your ciliary muscle, you would have to walk 50 miles every single day. The third is endorphins. I'm sure you've all heard of endorphins, and as a triathlete, we as triathletes say that we're addicted to the sport. And part of that is that we love training and we have a passion for you know, swimming, biking, and running. But the other thing is that we're addicted to the rush of endorphins that we receive when we do these endurance sports. And what happens is that after a certain amount of time of exercise, um, usually endurance exercise, not just running, biking, and swimming, but other forms too, your body releases endorphins, which are just sequences of amino acids, peptides, that act as neurotransmitters. And they're released into your body and they actually act on the same receptors as opioids. So just like morphine and codeine, these bind to those receptors and they act as painkillers. So endorphins aren't only produced by endurance exercise, there's a variety of other things um, that produce them, acupuncture, sex, massage therapy, art therapy, um, and all of these things release these into our body and have enormous benefits on the body. Um, unlike morphine and codeine, which have negative effects, the endorphins also slow aging, decrease your blood pressure, lower anxiety, curb your appetite, and trigger the natural killer cells of your immune system to fight infection. So do yourself a favor and find your runner's high, whatever that may be in your life, and try and stimulate those endorphins in your life every day. The fourth is water. Water may seem simple, but your body is composed 70% of water. Um, water is involved in almost every bodily process. You need it to distribute nutrients, electrolytes, hormones throughout your body. You need it to remove waste products, to produce cellular energy, to maintain your body temperature. Um, you really need water to maintain the substance of everything, skin, cartilage, muscle, your brain. Um, so drinking fresh water and staying, staying hydrated might seem simple, but truthfully, when you're not thirsty, it's when you need water the most, because one of the most interesting things is that dehydration uh, shuts off your thirst, um, thirst mechanism, so you don't feel thirsty when you're dehydrated as much. So the bottom line is drink water as much as you can. It will flush the toxins from your body and keep you feeling sharp and healthy. And the last thing is the human brain and the mind. While the human brain is capable of processing millions and millions of computations and doing a million things each second, your mind can only hold one thought. It can only process one thought, one piece of information, one stream of ideas. So multitasking is the ability to jump from one thought to another, but regardless of your ability to multitask, the mind is not processing these two thoughts at the same time. The most brilliant performances across sports, the arts, and business ventures have been from those who fixate their mind on one positive thought, remaining undistracted or what we call in the zone, just focusing on that one pure goal through a positive thought. The mind can't act positively, the mind can't cause the body to act positively if you're 
thinking about a negative thought. So if you take only one thing away from this talk, it's this. Your conscious mind can only process one thought at a time, so make it a positive thought. Thanks. Thank you.